Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Tim, a beauty and portrait photographer. So today I uh, would be teaching you guys on how to do, how to retouch air. And um, you know, there are various ways one could like tend to like retouch air, but I will just show you guys how I tend to like, do mine. Um, so first off, I start with um, the same dodge and bone. Um, if you check my previous video, I, I talked about how to like dodge and bone skin tone that um, retouching um, skin with old dodge and bone only so I'm going to like apply a little bit of that here so if you haven't seen that video out then devil would like you to like um, check that video out as I'm going to place a link um, right um, I think the top right corner here so you should check that out so you be my like, it's good like give you um, an insight to this video here so um, okay guys yeah, so let's jump right into it here Okay, so I'm going to start off with um, my dodge and burn um, action, which I um, already placed in the previous video for, um, so you don't have to like stress and start creating a dodge and burn um, layer every time. So um, I'm going to start with that. So I'm going to click on my dodge tool. Yeah, I'll make sure my opacity is 100, my flow is on 1%, and the same brush um, setting I told you guys the previous time. Yeah, so just make a brush um, pressure, um, pen pressure. So and I'm going to start painting. As you can see, um, there's like a dark area around this part here. Yeah, so I'm going to paint around the dark part because I want to make everything blended. I don't want one part darker than the other. I want them to look even so if there's a dark area i'm just going to leave dark area that way but if in the dark area there's like a white an highlight in between the dark i'm going to like paint that highlight in the dark also i don't know if you guys understand what I'm but you can see what i'm trying to do here i can see the dark lines in between the airline here i'm going to paint them white i'm currently dodging them right now so i'm painting them white same with this um, other part of the hair here. Yeah? I can see, yes, there's quite a whole lot of shadow around there. I could decide to leave it that way, but I can see it is not like making the hair look smooth around that line. So I'm going to like dodge the hair. And yeah, um, I'm going to, um, I decided to burn that part because I think my brush spilled to the other side. So I'm going to dodge it. I'm going to brighten it as you guys can see right now. I'm currently brightening that part of the hair. So everything looks even. If if I was going to like um do this on my own, I could easily just use just the dodge and bone tool to like make the hair look smooth, but definitely it's gonna take a whole lot of time. So now I'm going to move on to using the mixer brush tool because I want to like blend the hair fully. So I'm gonna click on my mixer brush tool on my frequency separation, working on the low frequency layer. Uh alright, so I'm going to like mix them this time okay so i'll start brushing and make sure my flow weight and everything is about 30 and now i'll start blending them together the shadow part the shadow part the highlight parts the highlight parts um i blend them together so they look good okay i could speed this up but uh, let's just leave it this way so we need to make everything look good that's what i'm currently doing right now it's going to make the l um smooth but at the same time you know you're like losing texture in the air so if you overdo this right now you you definitely have your air looking funny and like i've seen some couple of pictures where you tend to like see the air looking really blood out i know it doesn't look interesting that way so i love my images looking real um that's why i tend to like do everything subtle I decided to like, I decided to go back to my um, dodge and bone so using my normal brush this time because I want to like make it look smoother because I can see a little bit of like patches in between the colors of the air. So I'm going to use my dodge tool to like blend them out again. You could you could always yeah, you know there's no there's no one way or there's no right way to doing things on Photoshop like there's no one way to doing things on Photoshop. You could also like um at the same time just decide to start with the frequency separation mixer brush too. Then you do this afterwards, that works. So but um I'm going to try out this way. I'm going to like um blend it again so it looks good and real. So I'm currently painting my white on um, the dark patches I can see 
under here right now. And I'm also burning the bright parts on the hair right there so everything looks good. And now I decided to like burn the air in total. Um, so the air, I'm trying to like give the air definition. So I'm using my bone tool to like define the air. Show you the before and after. We've all done before, after, before, after. Ignore the skin tone though, that's, that's um, the skin retouch. So you can see it before and after of just the dodge and bone only too. So you can see the little stuff to change we just made to the picture. I'm gonna burn the image again and make it look good. I want to add more texture to the air since I've done my um, frequency separation and I've um, lost a little bit of texture so how I'm going to do that right now is I want to add texture to the hair. Um, I'm going to create a new layer by going down here and clicking on the new layer icon then I'll pick or select a brush with um, um, a hard brush the hardness at 100 and the size at one, um, one pixel so I'll zoom into my image this time. And okay, yeah, guys, um, I discovered, uh, I don't know, it might work different for different people, but I'll tend to like draw a tiny line, more like an S strand on my subject. But I discovered, um, I tend to like, when I want to um, draw a strand on my subject air, um, if I'm using, if I'm trying to draw a white strand, I tend to like draw around the highlights part for, I think maybe for colored air. But maybe for a black hair i might tend to like do it all through so it's from the white area i tend to like draw from so i'm going to like keep drawing this way just draw a white a white strand that's just using my using my pen just drawing a line following the line of the air i'll keep doing this right now yeah i'll keep doing it too it doesn't have to be perfect though but you just try making it look good enough yeah so um I'm going to keep drawing the strands and if you see it exceed you can always like um if it exceeds where you want it to be you can always use maybe the eraser tool to like clean it off the part you don't want it to be so um same here too i'm going like draw another strand keep drawing strands of white air so uh, after i've after i've done that to the white i'm going to draw strands of black hair too so i'm going to select and make a new layer also change my color to black and start drawing black also same line but this time maybe the black will be in like shadow area and i could add a little bit to the white area but more into the shadow area and just you can just play around it and see what works for you yeah so um i'm going to draw the blacks here too so guys um after i'm done drawing the strands of hair to my filter menu and um i would go down to blur then gaussian blur um as soon as I apply my Gaussian blow, um, you, um, I use sometimes I use a radius of about um, zero point eight, so it doesn't look too blurry. It still, it still looks like a strand of air, but not that sharp. So um, I'm gonna use a, zero, a radius of zero point eight. I would change my uh, my um, I don't know what they call this again. My I would change it to soft light still so it doesn't look that bright then if i feel it looks good i'll leave it this way but if i feel it's like too obvious i'm going to reduce the opacity if i want so just making keeping everything real i'm going to do the same thing to to the black layer also 
go jean blur pick my radius and change it to um change it to soft light also guys you can see the before and after of the hair right now it looks good and looks real so um guys that's that's the end of today's um tutorial i like, hope you guys have learned something um so you guys should just take 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 the time out and like practice 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 as they say practice makes perfection so keep trying it out and you definitely get the hang of it um and kindly kindly like comment share and subscribe um subscribe to this channel and um, you could always click on the notification bell also to like um, get notified anytime i post a new video so cheers guys and see you later